Miss Cortini, you worked for Mr. DeMarco as a dog sitter for a period of time. For how long? About four months. During that time, you charged him a certain amount of money to walk his dog? Correct. I had her 24 hours a day. How much did you charge him to walk his dog? I let him know as long as he paid for her vet bills, food costs, and all that stuff, that was our agreement. He never paid. Why? I asked him several times. He had said that he was broke and trying to get into a house because he was currently living in a hotel. I had her 24 hours a day. Where were you living? In Woodland Hills. With whom? My grandmother. Is what you're telling me you kept the dog at your grandmother's house? Yes. He didn't keep the dog at his house? No, Your Honor. Is that right? That is true. How did you meet Miss Cortini? Your Honor, Miss Cortini volunteered to... <laughs> I asked you a question. How did you meet Miss Cortini? I had posted an ad on Craigslist stating that I would pay for uh, my... Okay. How did you meet him? He had posted an ad on Craigslist. I responded. That said what? He was looking for a dog sitter. He had nowhere to live, and he didn't want to take the dog to the shelter. Did he say what kind of a dog it was? Yes, Your Honor. What kind of a dog? A golden retriever. How old? He said two years old. So he said he was homeless, didn't want to take the dog to a shelter. He would pay for food, etc. If somebody would take the dog while he was looking for home, is that what the idea of yes, the yeah. breaks? Why in the world would you answer that ad? I wish I didn't. And you kept the dog with you for four months? Correct, Your Honor. What were you doing during those four months, Mr. DeMarco? I was looking for housing. I am here today over Miss Cortini's uh, stealing my... I don't care what you're here for today. I'm getting a whole different feel for this case than when I first read your complaint, sir. So, Miss Cortini took care of your dog for four months, and you didn't pay her at all? Um... Um is not an answer. The answer is no. She never asked to be paid. She volunteered. Are you listening to what I'm saying to you? Miss Cortini was a stranger to you, took care of your dog for four months, and you didn't pay her? Correct. Good. Slightly different story from what I read in your complaint, sir, which suggested that she was your dog sitter, which suggests to one that I have a dog and somebody comes in maybe once a day to sit with my dog or takes it out for a walk twice a day. But in this case, Miss Cortini took the dog of a stranger and took care of it. And you did nothing while you were homeless, but you had a car. Your Honor, I did try and get the dog back, but Miss Cortini would not give me the dog. I went Mr. there with the police on Mr. several Mr. occasions. DeMar Mr. DeMarco, was that before? Before or after the car? It was after the after she stole the vehicle. Oh, okay. I'm not interested. She well, she stole the vehicle Be, on. Listen so to me, sir. I'm gonna tell this story now because the complaint that you wrote was very, very one-sided. No. Now I'm getting a different impression of the case, so I'm going to explore it. What you said in your complaint, and just pay careful attention. Well, what you want out? No. Great. What you said in your complaint was Miss Cortini was your dog walker and she said she wanted to buy your car. Correct. And you agreed on a price. She gave you a down payment according to her. She told you don't cash the check for a couple of days. You went to try to cash the check and the check bounced. Miss Cortini had taken the car and by the time you tried to get it back, she had forged the title, sold it to somebody else, police were involved and ultimately you got your car back and you're suing her for $5,000 for keeping your car and the costs incurred in getting your car back, et cetera, et cetera. That's what your case is. What we didn't say was that she really had no connection with you other than she was being a good Samaritan and taking care of your dog for four months. Now I'm going to go back to Miss Cortini. There came a time when you made an arrangement with him to purchase his car. Yes, Your Honor. And that car was a... An Audi A6. For how much? $800. That was the total purchase price? Yes, it had a bad motor, so it was on its last leg. What year Audi? I believe it was 2013. Nobody buys an Audi for $800. Correct. So I want you to understand, I don't buy that. He did owe me, you know, part of the agreement was he owed me so much money for taking care of his dog. It was kind of a compromise. So now let's go back. Uncross your hands. 